Hey guys, welcome to She Do Everything, where we focus on lifestyle, DIYs, family and well, everything. If you want to know more about that, stay tuned and keep on watching. You guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We have finally made it. Here we do everything, hence the name, she do everything, cause baby, I do all of the things. And we're gonna be taking these ingredients from this to this. Yes, today we're gonna be making my Keto Cheddar Bay Biscuits, guys, these taste so freaking good and I cannot wait to share this recipe with you guys. So all of my dry ingredients are already mixed up in the bowl. So the almond flour, the baking powder, the sea salt and the garlic powder have already been mixed up in the bowl and the ingredients also will be listed in the description box below. I'm taking my egg that's already been beaten pouring that into my bowl. And then I'm gonna take my butter and pour it in, as well as my heavy whipping cream, and I'm gonna mix that up real nice until everything is just all melted together in a glorious dough. So these biscuits are a knockoff version, of course, of the Red Lobster Cheddar Bay biscuits, but they don't have any flour or in them or any other super high carb ingredients. And I'm doing this because I am on a ketogenic diet where most of my cal caloric intake comes from fat. So a ketogenic diet is about 70 to 75% fat, 20 to 25% protein, and then 5% carbs. And so with these biscuits, you are going to get two net carbs per biscuit. I mean, why wouldn't anybody want to eat a million of them? I'll tell you why because they're also 250 calories each. So you definitely want to stick to one biscuit per meal, maybe half a biscuit if you're super restrictive in your caloric intake. But I'm gonna tell you right now, sis, it's gonna be hard to eat just one. So while that's cooking, we're going to prep our butter topping. This is that final step that we do right after we take them out of the oven. So there's about a 
fourth of a cup of melted butter, a little bit of salt, a little bit of garlic powder, and enough parsley for your liking. I'm very partial to parsley, so it was a couple extra shakes in there, but do you, boo-boo? Because, honey, when these come out of the oven, though, look at it. Do you see it? Look at the glory. My God, today. Mm, mm, mm. And you put this topping on top of each and every biscuit. Typically, I wait for them to cool a little bit, but I really just couldn't today. I was so, so hungry and I was just ready to eat them. My meal for the day was collards and kale with smoked turkey tails and a Cheddar Bay biscuit. That was my meal for the day. And I was thoroughly satisfied. You see my little happy dance, baby. Look at it. Ooh, baby. Go ahead and do yourself a flavor and make this recipe today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Be sure to comment down below, like, and subscribe, and I'll check you guys on a later one.